Sorry for our technical difficulties. Testing. Again, welcome to those who are joining us through live stream and those who are here present. Let us celebrate this late Christmas season Mass with great joy, even as a lot of our church is celebrating the Feast of the Epiphany today. We anticipated it on Sunday. Let's begin our liturgy by singing something familiar. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains, and the mountains in reply echo back their joyous strains. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Gloria in excelsis Deo. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has appeared in our world to save us, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Thank you again. Welcome. May we continue to thank God for bringing us safely to this point of our day, this point of our lives, to express our gratitude and our love, just as God has expressed God's love for us in the gift of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. To prepare us to celebrate this great mystery, we ask the Lord's forgiveness as we celebrate God's loving kindness and continue to promise to cooperate with God's grace in our lives on that journey of ongoing conversion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us continue our Christmas season prayers. Grant us, Almighty God, that as we hear from the prophet Isaiah, a people who walked in darkness has seen a great light, for those dwelling in a land of deep gloom, a light has shone. We praise you for Jesus Christ, the bright light and bringer of your salvation, who for the world's redemption came forth with newness of heavenly light. May we draw afresh in our own hearts and bring us constant renewal from our proclamation that Jesus Christ is born to save us. We ask this in all of our Christmas season prayers, in Jesus' name, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, you who are one God, forever and ever. With open hearts, let us listen to the Lord speaking to us through his holy word. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, if God so loved us, we must also love one another. No one has ever seen God, yet if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he is in us, that, that he has given us of his spirit 
Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him. In this is love brought to perfection among us, that we have confidence on the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment, and so one who fears is not yet perfect in love. The word of the Lord. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth will adore you. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every, every nation, nation on, on earth will adore, adore you. The kings of the Tarish and the Isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. Lord, every, every nation, nation on, on earth, earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, Lord every, every nation, nation on earth will, will adore, adore you. Alleluia, alleluia. Sisters, brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. After the 5,000 had eaten and were satisfied, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and proceed him to the other side toward Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. And when he had taken leave of them, he went off to the mountain to pray. When it was evening, the boat was far out on the sea, and he was alone on shore. Then he saw that they were tossed about while rowing, for the wind was against them. And about the fourth watch of the night, Jesus came toward them walking on the water. He meant to pass them by. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. They had all seen him and were terrified. But at once Jesus spoke with them. Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. He got into the boat with them and the wind died down. They were completely astounded. They had not understood the instance of the loaves. On the contrary, their hearts were hardened. Sisters, brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. I was probably about 14 years old attending St. Matthew's Church in Baltimore when I first heard the words that we heard from the first reading sung by a cantor who was blind. And as she was obviously reading the lyrics in Braille, not looking down, looking up, and following the page, 
she sang, God is love, he who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. I thought to myself, that sung by a woman who was blind to lead people who could see to profess that God was love had to be somehow pivotal. It had to be something extra special, not just extraordinary, but extra special. Yesterday and today, we heard from the first letter of John reminding us that God is love. John is not telling us what God does. God was not saying God loves. St. John was telling us who God is, what God is. God is love. Love is what God is. It is wonderfully special, even extraordinary, that tonight we are reminded that God is love and that those who remain in God, God remains in them and that God's love is brought to perfection in them. How? By a removal of fear. If you pray the office as we do with morning prayer every morning here, the prayer before morning prayer is called the office of readings. And I look forward to the office of readings reading for the second Thursday of Advent. Because there, St. Peter Chrysologus speaks about God being love and how love is unreasonable and that love cannot be satisfied until the beloved looks upon what they love. That's what the saints did. They loved God out of love and not, and not out of fear. It seems to echo so true with this reading in the second week of Christmas. God is love. Perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. And so one who fears is not yet perfect in love. No wonder St. Augustine said, love God and do what you will. Because if we truly love God, we would never do anything apart from what God loves. What does God love? You and me. God loves what he has created. God loves creation. And love is so powerful that God, who is perfect justice and perfect mercy, meets us in his very self, in his love, his Son made flesh for us, through the power of the Holy Spirit, from the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and meets us in love. God's justice demands that I, that you, be punished for our sins. Yet we hope in God's loving mercy that God will spare us punishment. In the person of Jesus, we have God's answer, God's love with flesh on. On the cross, in the crib, in the crib, on the cross, making those constant lifelong connections between the wood of the crib and the wood of the cross. God is love. Let us cast out servile fear and seek to love as God loves. To hear Jesus speak to you and me as he did his disciples who were frozen and terrified with fear. Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. Lord, as we continue in this late season day, late Christmas season day, to celebrate your love for us, Free us from servile fear and help us to be as you are, all-powerful, not in the lightning bolt or the storm, but in your love. Amen. Blessed as we are to continue to celebrate Christ's presence among us, in this wonderful season of Christmas, awash as we are in his love, however storm-tossed by the uncertainties and tumults of this world, we celebrate, even as we pray, 
abide with us, Lord. Abide with us, Lord. We pray that the church, her leaders and members, may be a refuge of faith, hope, and love for all people, we pray. Abide with us, Lord. Even as our nation is struggling at this moment politically, even with the tumult of what may be happening in Washington, we continue to pray for our civil leaders and our civil servants. We continue to pray with them to trust in God. In God we trust that from the many there be one. That God may continue to bless our leaders and those dedicated to civil service with a blessed civil leadership. We pray to the Lord. Abide with us. We pray for all those who may live in fear in our own nation, in our world, that those who may live in fear because of persecution, because of poverty, because of an injustice, may know God's love, God's justice, God's peace, God's love through us, through all those who proclaim Christ as Lord, we pray. Abide with us, Lord. We pray for all those who may be sick in their bodies, their minds, and struggling in their circumstances. For all those who may need our prayers of healing, consolation, strength, and restoration. In a special way, I invite you to please pray for our beloved and dear brother, Dr. Pablo Quintanilla, who um, is struggling for his life in the hospital with complications due to COVID. For his healing, for the, his restoration to us in health for all those who care for those who are sick, for those who are frightened because of those who are sick. If you want to mention anyone else out loud, please feel free to do so. For all of these, Lord, and those who need our prayers for healing, consolation, strength, and restoration, we pray. Abide with us, Lord. We take a moment of silence for you to add your own Christmas season prayers in the silence of your hearts. For the prayers of our hearts, even those who may not have words to express themselves, we pray. Abide with us, Lord. We pray for more vocations, for more sisters, for more friars, deacons, priests, holy married people and holy single people, for the perseverance in love for those already called, for more vocations from our parish family, especially to our friars and archdiocese, we pray to the Lord. Abide with us, Lord. For all those who may be beginning new adventures this new year, for those who may have to undergo assessments or tests or tryouts, For all those who may need our prayers of courage and sustainment, we pray to the Lord. Abide with us, Lord. And as we remember all of our beloved deceased, we remember the person who was killed this evening at the Capitol. We pray also in a special way for the repose of the soul of John Capozzi, for John and for all of our beloved deceased especially those you remember from Christmas seasons past, we pray to the Lord. Abide with us, Lord. O Lord, call out to us in your loving mercy, for you are Lord of light, you are Lord of all creation. Even as many of us in the body of Christ celebrate Epiphany this evening as we celebrated on Sunday, we ask you, Lord, to calm us in our every fear. May our faith in your love, in your love, your word made flesh for us, be both a refuge and a strength that we may be astounded by his power to save within us and through us. We ask this in all of our prayers, those spoken and those that remain in our hearts, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer back to you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Administer this water and wine may be cup to share in the dignity of Christ, the one that himself loved us to share in our bread. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer back to you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice and your sight this day be pleasing to you, O Lord our God. Lord, wash away our iniquities and cleanse us from all of our sins and selfishness. For though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy, O Lord. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours, together with our hearts and our lives, that they may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. And we pray. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, Graciously grant that, through this offering, we may do fitting homage to your loving divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may faithfully be united in mind and heart. For you have granted your peoples the gladness of lasting peace, and poured into our hearts that brilliant light by which you purified the minds of all of those who preceded us in faith. Accept our offering, Lord, for we offer them in Jesus' name, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Father, most holy, almighty, and eternal God, for today you have revealed the great mystery of our salvation in Jesus Christ as a light for the nations, and your love made flesh for us. And when Jesus appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so, with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers and virtues of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory with them, as with one heart and one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God. You who are from the very world's beginning are love and are ceaselessly at work in us, so that our human family may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings, and pour out upon them the power of your Holy Spirit, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom we too have become your sons and daughters. For indeed, though once we were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before Jesus' arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become that lasting sign of your covenant of love with us, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. And as Jesus ate with them, 
He took bread in his hands and, giving you thanks and praise, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples and friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when that holy last supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, Jesus took the chalice, filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks and praise for all your loving mercy, handed the chalice to his disciples and friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Until you come again. Therefore, as we continue to celebrate the memorial of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his life, death, and resurrection from the dead. And, looking forward to his second and glorious second coming, we offer you, Lord, who are our faithful and merciful God, what you have bestowed on us, Jesus Christ, this sacrificial victim, who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate and loving Father, on all those who you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit of your love, as we and all partake of this one bread and one chalice, that we may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of heart and in mind, together with our Holy Father, Pope Francis, with our Friar Archbishop, Gregory John, with his assistants, Bishops Joel and Bernard, with all the bishops, with all the men and women who seek to serve you by serving your people and all your people. Help us, Lord, to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God and our Mother, St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, with St. Peter, Paul, and John, and all the apostles, with John the Baptist and all the prophets, with all the martyrs, with St. Philip Benizi, with St. Francis, Claire, Anthony, and Bonaventure, with St. Andre Bisset, with all of our departed and beloved sisters and brothers, especially our beloved brother John, and all those who have died in your loving mercy, and those whom we humbly commend to your loving mercy. Then, Lord, freed at last from the very and every wound of corruption and sin, and made fully into a new creation by your love at work in us and all creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity to save us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Bless as we are, Lord, to have some insight into your divinity. Through love, blessed as we are to have our Savior's commandment of love, love of you with all our hearts and love of neighbors ourselves, formed as we are by that divine teaching, we are blessed and privileged to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our Christmas days and every day. 
and in your merciful love, keep us free from sin and safe from all distress as we await that blessed and joyful hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to us what you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Lord, look not upon our sins, but rather upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. The peace, Lord Jesus, with you always. Let's share with one another, respecting our need for social distancing, a sign of Christ's peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Sisters, brothers, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed and happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For the body and blood of Christ, for the sake of the last day. For our communion antiphon, please respond with a glory be. That life which was with the Father became visible, and he has appeared to us in love. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
in solidarity with our sisters and brothers who may be joining us through live stream at home, let's help them to make a spiritual communion by praying the Anima Christi prayer with them and for them. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the malignant enemy, defend me. At the hour of death, call me. To come to you, bid me, that I may praise you in the company of your saints for all eternity. Amen. And let us pray. May we, together with all your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in so many loving ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow in your love, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever-deepened trust for things that are eternal. Through Christ our, love, our Lord, your light, your love made flesh for us, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And in honor of today being uh, the Epiphany in so many places, I want to share with you the solemn blessing that comes from the Epiphany. So the Lord be with you. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. After each invocation, proclaim Amen. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you and make your hearts firm in his love, in faith, hope, and charity. Amen. And since, in all confidence, you follow Jesus Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters in the way you share with others the love that God has shared with you. Amen. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended, you too may come to him whom the Magi sought as they followed the star and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you and yours now and forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and proclaim Christ as Lord. Amen. Hope you have a wonderful and safe evening. Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains and the mountains in reply echo back their joyous strains. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Chelsea's day.